But I mean, it has to happen at some time when they're both in bracket. And I better, mean, better each other than somebody else. Yeah. That's Losers finals is a decent enough place to do it. Yeah. You know? I mean, if they're both making it that far, uh, I think they've we, had a good Why weren't we seated further yeah. apart? Like, <laughs> but, okay, I, I already just... Yeah, Fox makes so much sense as the pick for Luis. Of all of his characters, you have the Reflector, which helps you control a lot more of the range game, especially if you reflect something beefy like a charge shot. Right. Like, just the threat of Reflector, right. we probably won't even see Mikey go for charge shot on the legendary office. But like, I'm so biased towards the Roy, and I love seeing Luis's Roy. <laughs> and both characters are very similar in the fact that once they're in their face, they kind of don't let up. Yeah. So, But, yeah, Fox probably with Reflector doing a little better against the Mega Man here. And he still gets to, like, abuse Mega Man so hard once he gets in. Oh, yeah. Oh, just kind of falling on him. Double up air. Not going to connect with the fair. Not going to do much. Oh, wow. Interesting. I believe that was a misinput. I think uh, Luis wanted a back Oh, air. gets the footstool. But the air dodge is going to be enough to get back. Oh, expecting a roll in. Mikey just going ahead and get up attacking. for breakfast. Mikey actually backing off, going for a grab. Nice. There's, there's probably a meta to these players that is like six layers deep. Oh yeah. Just because they play each other all the time. Actually, I was in Discord with them last night and they were just playing friendlies at like two in the morning. So oh, these guys yeah. play each other all the time. Kind of have to assume that's the case, yeah. Especially when you factor in the fact that they're uh, doubles partners as well. Yeah. Um, because to be good double partners with somebody, like you have to actually be able to read them really well. Yes. In situations, I know because, exactly what they want to do. Yeah, because you don't you don't get to communicate. That was actually a really good roll by Mikey. Yes. His shield was almost broken, but he recognized that he had been hit on shield like 11 to 17 times, right? <laughs> Which means you get immediate invincibility on your roll. Yes. And that's where he was able to avoid not only getting his shield broken, but also getting killed off the Firefox. Oh, down air connecting. Not a good position if you're the Fox. Edge guarding Fox is definitely something that's doable in this game. Oh yes. Oh yes. It just gets easier and easier, except like Melee. Yeah, yeah. Mikey will be able to recover from this. But yeah. Luis says no, not today. That was a really good catch on the air dodge. Because like Mikey was in that ambiguous zone and Luis decided to wait just a little bit longer. Right, right. And Luis's parry is just so good. <laughs> I really like that adaptation right there, going for the side B. Because mm -hmm. that way, like, even if you still get center stage. Yeah. Oh, trying to go for that Gimp. We saw that a little earlier against, uh, I think, Varun. There we go. Double jump stolen. Mikey managing to disengage into this uh, edge. Landing with the Nair. Scary for the Mega Man, but definitely with the stock lead, you're feeling pretty nice. Oh, and they're just outright destroying the pellets. But it doesn't give Luis anything further. He's caught off stage once again. Nice. <laughs> Footstool off the illusion. Yeah. I wonder what uh, Mikey was actually sniffing for there. I think he was expecting just a, a ledge grab. I don't think he was expecting the illusion back on stage. Up be connecting. Luis struggling and getting these kills, but right there he tries to get that cross up and as I was saying, just gets that up smash out of shield. Because what made that actually sick was like, uh, Mikey was actually behind Luis, yeah. right? So by crossing up his shield, he put himself in, in a smash position. range. Yeah. yeah. You have to be so conscious of which end the opponent's back is. Oh, that almost connected the drag down into, I think, forward smash, but Luis getting big damage off these up tilts. This is just like that. Luis has almost even up the game. If I'd can, say Mega Man's a kill percentage. Now, now yeah, it's actually now either. Sure. Yeah. Uh, assuming Luis can get oh. back on stage, and he can't. Illusion is not safe. Yeah, that was because we saw Mikey not toss that out anywhere else. But when they were scrambling off stage, I think Mikey came to the realization that Luis doesn't want to be off stage anymore. He wants to come back yeah, center stage as fast back, as possible. Yeah. He's not gonna think about shining. Like. <laughs> You can throw out that kill projectile now. You got him. Yeah, yeah. Sticking to the Fox, though, Luis is. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we went back to Pokemon Stadium 2, to be honest. But we'll definitely see what the counter pick is. Yeah. Two, yeah, Pokemon one, Stadium 2 is the stage of choice. I'd have to agree, but I don't know. I'm so biased. I want to see the Roy. <laughs> you just would want to see the Roy in, like, any matchup, right? Yeah, yeah. You just want to see a tournament experience. of, like, Rory Mirrors. Yes. <laughs> 
Good movement by uh, Mikey, just staying barely out of range of the uh, the back airs and the up airs, or he was until he got hit by three up airs in a row. It's pretty tough to avoid all of them. Mikey was doing a jo good job of like getting out of these combos that Luis had, but now Luis is just like getting so much out of every single opening he gets. Like 117% is crazy. Up smash might have been able to connect right there, but Parry and Dub Smash is going to do it just the same. That's the classic by Foxes. You have to really respect their shield at high percents. And that is, you know, speaking of like the combo streams that uh, Luis is having on Mikey, I think it might speak to their experience against each other as, as players that we don't see Mikey very often go for the rush escape like he was against yes. other players, right? Yes. I think he respects Luis's ability, especially with Fox, to chase his landing afterwards and kill him. And there Yo! it is. I mean, Mega Man's recovery is pretty nice. So. Yeah. Every time I think that's it, but... <laughs> I cannot believe that. The uh, Foxfire connected right there. Well, I mean, Illusion didn't work last time, right? So he's going to try something else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Just kind of stares him down. Not afraid of that fair. Sure, you can not going to connect here. Yeah. Mikey's trying to throw out everything in his arsenal. Not connecting, though. Oh, oh. looking for the hard knuckle. Doesn't find it. Mikey looking kind of shook, not really punishing this laggy forward, like forward air, like right in front of him. Oh, okay. But I don't know how shook he is. That was actually just an Ume Shoryu. Like yes. that is just walking up to the opponent and just calling out their their flinch. Definitely a boost that Mikey might have needed to get back into this, but. Kind of going uh, a little too low, just kind of throwing that game away. Yeah. Every time I say anything, I feel like the opposite just happens. It's so. called being a commentator. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. I, I, no, one, no one celebrates us when, like, when we, we have those prophetic reads. Like, they're just like, oh my gosh, like, did you see how badly he was wrong but at this then, moment? Yeah, yeah. We, we all have Tony Romo moments on the mic. Mikey kind of shrugging. He's like, I mean, Luis kind of shrugging towards the camera, just kind of like, eh, it happens. We'll see what happens this game, though. Yeah. Man, Pokemon Stadium is the stage of choice in this tournament. It is very, very standard as a level. And it, like, I can understand actually both characters kind of liking this a lot. Especially considering, like, when, when Luis gets a hit on Mikey near the edge, right? Like, he actually gets to carry Mikey all the way to the other side of the stage. It just does so much more damage yes. because of how long it is. I can kind of see him being fine with this being a long level because of that. Look at that! Yeah, 72%. But, and he's not done. That's the scary thing. He's still giving chase. Mikey manages to break free, though. Yeah. And we have uh, some, some pellet play. Are we going to get jump shy? No. Ooh, this is a dangerous position if you're the Fox. Down are going to connect. That was an interesting, I think a two frame because he snapped to the ledge. Yeah, it was just during the snap animation. Yeah. It kind of it kind of hit Fox's legs as he was snapping. It was right. unfortunate. Going for the hard wow. smash. Yeah, that was slightly misaligned. If uh, Luis was slightly further ahead, he would have actually got that punish. Yeah. Mikey now reversing things, just kind of making some quick work out of Luis. That was was that like a wave bounce uh, leaf shield I to land it, on him? I think it might have been. Yeah. Crazy Some stuff. Very tricky stuff. Necessary. It is, yeah. Man, we've been talking about the meta between these two players, but I feel like the meta, the music meta, uh-oh. Unfortunate there from uh, from Mikey, but you know what? Who do you he think Gladion theme supports? Gladion theme? Isn't that what this that's song is? That's a Mega is? Man. That's a Mega Man? Yeah, I think that's definitely Mega This Man. actually does sound way more like a Mega Man stage. Doesn't thing. it? Yeah. I I'm gonna I'm gonna come flinging. I haven't played like a Pokemon game since Gen 4. So like none of these songs make any sense. <laughs> yeah. They mean nothing to me. I've tried to play Pokemon games and they just don't do it for me anymore. All right, up B off stage. Does connect the Foxfire, but unfortunately going to kill himself to do so. I, honestly, I think that was such a good recognition by Mikey too, that it was just like he spent all of his resources. And when he whipped, he was like, it's fine because the Fire Fox is going to hit me up and I can recover off of that. Right, and it also put him at 69%, so you're definitely looking clean after that. Nice. Nice, got him. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Chasing him down up the tech. Nair into up smash, not going to do it. That's the nice thing about being near the edge against Fox at this sort of percent. Oh is that the Nair sends you off stage so the up smash doesn't connect. No, up tilt, up air. We're still here. I love to see that. That's cool. Some conversions are just sick. 
they're just they're they're elegant, right? Yeah, elegant. That that's really what it is. Like there's nothing crazy or, or technically impossible about it. But it's just like it's just pretty. It's the simple things, yeah. right? Why why weird up your life? Oh no, he air dodges off, but yeah, Mega Man can definitely recover. But I think they're getting scary. He doesn't have his double jump. No, uh, no poke out by Luis. I think he was expecting an air dodge. Yeah, to he definitely was. Missing the read and just kind of running to the other side of the stage anyway. Yeah, tossing out some lasers. He's like, that was intentional, me missing. I just wanted to run. Oh my god, these parries. Flawless defense coming out from Luis right now. And then he's using it just to run away and fire more lasers. He's like, you know, I could try to win neutral against you, but... What if I just lasered you so that I could just <laughs> nair an up smash or up tilt up air? How about you approach me? Yeah. You know how to do that, right, Mega Man? No That up way. smash had some crazy range. I think that was probably the farthest up smash I've ever seen connect. But yeah, I mean, I, maybe Luis just knows this character like the back of his hand. I want to say that like Mikey did something out of shield to extend his hurt It had to have been. Like, maybe box. like pellets or something where his arm is just barely going forward. Because that was insane. That was... Wow. Right. Wow. Okay. Running it right back. Game number four. Mikey on his tournament. A game, I guess, so. Uh, Luis, yeah, on the right. verge of uh, making it into Grand Finals. Yes. I mean, this is what he, I, I have a feeling that's what he's burning for, is just to get that run back against Varun. Especially if he can win this tournament, it's like, hey, you know what? I, I took out two sets of yours to your one of me, so I'm still on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you might have beaten me once, but can you beat me three times? Oh my gosh, or twice, rather. I guess twice, yeah. Twice? No. Oh, no. Um, anyway, uh, Mikey caught at the ledge right now. <laughs> you know, I'm seeing Black Mink next week, or two weeks. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's another K-pop band, but oh, okay. we won't talk about that then. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh, sticks him! Sticks him with his own medicine. And just like that line, Luis is kind of all over Mikey. Beautiful! Oh okay. <laughs> I was worried that Mikey might be, like, getting tilted or something, but that was too slick. Now, getting a Shoryu definitely makes you feel good, so... It, it actually is the universal love language of like fighting games, right? <laughs> yes. Is like You're hard absolutely call out. correct. Like we all we all know what that means. And if you don't, then you haven't really tried fighting games until you do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, getting the roll away, but the uh, parry to up tilt. The classic from Luis at this point. Good air dodges. It was a nair dodge too. Yeah, nair Just dodge. to make it as safe as possible. Back air gonna connect, but not gonna do it quite yet. Huskies knuckles. Oh. And he don't chuckle. Let's go. Mikey getting himself the tiniest of leads on Luis right now. Yeah, I'm chuckling, but... <laughs> <laughs> Mikey just keeping him on stage right now. Definitely punishing Fox's, like, kind of weak recovery, so... It's definitely something he needs if he wants to make this a game situation. That was insane movement there from just Mikey. Just going all the way out there. Just do it, man. Mikey, just do it. Mikey, just do it. G-Pick, stop, please. I can't take it. I'm, I'm mad because the streamers aren't listening. Otherwise, it would have cut my mic. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gets the grab, but that doesn't really do much for the Fox. Just kind of puts him in an advantage state, but... Up throw's not going to do it, but it's going to set him up for a juggle. Luis, being crafty, just illusions the other side of the stage to avoid the juggle. All right. Run at you, up smash. That's all it takes. Luis always knows when somebody is trying to get away from him. Yeah, yeah. And, like, he just does not accept that. Okay, we don't see the down here here just yet. Uh, waits a long time on the ledge. Ooh. He gets Barry on the last hit. Here's some good damage coming in now. 53% already. Parrying the charge shot. I mean, how do you hit Luis if he's just going to parry every single move you throw out? Like, every single move you throw out. It's like he's playing like Devil May Cry or something with all these parries. Oh my god. <laughs> Finally, he's able to get a hit in and it connects to kill him. So, Mikey making it a game five situation here in Losers Finals. They're both trying to, to, to get their rematch against Varun. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I'm not sure we could have expected anything less from like two people who play each other this much. Of right. course, they're going to go this, this even down to the wire. Go the distance. Yeah. And once again, Stadium 2. We're gonna run it right through. Loser gets third place after a pretty tough road by both these guys. They had to take out some really scary players. 
Oh, unfortunately, I think this is a Fox song. Oh, I think this is the guitar? Yeah, it definitely appeals more to the Fox, so I don't know. That metagame's not going too good for Mikey, but we'll see what it, what, it has, what he has to say about it, you know? Yeah. Did he just... Nice. You know what? He did. He just shot him with one blaster. He did. Love the... Uh, that's that's one thing I haven't been gushing about enough. You you have been, but like the drag down back airs. Yes. By uh, by Mikey, they're so good. The drag downs I think are really cool. Because so. like it, it doesn't just look cool. It works great as like a reversal option when you're being juggled, and then you can find a follow up right afterwards. Right. Do you think drag down back air and destroy you is the thing for you? Can... What? She that shined the air insane. shooter. Yeah. And it actually did so much more damage to Mikey because of the damage multiplier on, uh, yeah, on yeah. shine. Grab off stage, charging, putting him in that awkward situation. Yeah. Gets it. We haven't seen Mikey do that enough, I don't think. I I mean, he's understandably scared because if Luis reflects it, Mikey's dead, I think. Luis channeling his inner light, kinda trying to charge up on these uh, with these taunts. <laughs> he's not rolling up his sleeves yet. Yeah, that's true. We're not there yet. Fortunately. All this oppression at the ledge, tossing out jabs looking like Falcon. Retreating nares as well, there we go. Yeah, Mikey just fights his way out with the fifth option. Jumps back with the nair, and here we get more of these charge shots, what you've been looking for, Yuhu. Right, right. Punishing the landing with it this time. Just crossing them up with the uh, the back air. Really good option there, just, oh my god. Oh my god, it feels oh. so good! Wow, just like that, Luis is on his tournament stock. Now, the thing is, uh, I think Mikey's about to be too. If any of these up smashes connect, and uh, like, yeah. Luis is on the hunt. Yes, yeah, there it is. Just chases him down. Especially notices the uh, Luis kill sent the other way. Gonna pick up the up smash for it. They're having no land, you can just jab right after it. Yeah, we'll always have to hold shield a little extra long against the Fox. Yeah, but then he starts grabbing you after he nares. And he feels dumb. Yeah. You know, like, that's that's what the, the real thing is. Yeah, it is. It's all like rock, paper, scissors at that point. Yeah, like the, the mix-ups have just started. It's a, it's a bridge, so to speak. Right. That's a, I mean, it's a one way to break out of a combo and keep your opponent honest, just a frame two jab. But it is Mikey who's overall winning on percent, as much as uh, we see so many flashy kicks coming out from Luis. But it's Luis on corner control, stalling out oh and getting the back air. God. That and shine stall like was that. so necessary. Yes. Put him exactly where he needed to be to pick up the punish. Luis moves on.